All right, so right now we're going to be learning uh, about four-point saddle. We did the three-point saddle, we're going to do a uh, four-point saddle. So again, uh, your uh, same concept, conduit comes straight, 10 piece, uh, foot pieces. Again, we have to bend it. We have something that gets in our way. We're running our conduit. All of a sudden, something is in the way. We have to learn how to bend these things right here. So uh, we talked a little bit about the, the, uh, the three-point saddle. If you have, if you have a, a square obstruction, this would look like a weird kind of thing to uh, go over like that. So you do not want to have a... Uh, a three-point saddle over a, a, a square obstruction like that. So what we do is we do two offsets that face each other. And uh, this we call it a, a four-point saddle. So again, uh, you have the obstruction, a square obstruction, it makes it look nice and clean. Now, on the other one, we did the center of it. We went right to the center, we were able to measure right there. This one, we are gonna go to the edge of it. So we're gonna measure from here to my, from here to there, I'm gonna measure what my distance from there to there is right there. And uh, we, have, uh, we have something here that we already have it marked right here. So here we have obstruction. I'm gonna go ahead and measure here. Uh, this one happens to be 24. We're gonna leave it at pretty much the same thing. So 24 is what, with the edge of this guy right here. So that's what we're gonna be marking right there. So uh, we have the, the distance. Now next thing we have to do our height. So this one happens to be, uh, looks like three uh, inches. Uh, sorry, you guys can see it right there. Three inches, that's pretty much the, the height of the obstruction of this uh, uh, obstacle that we have right here. Again, obstacles come in different sizes. You don't pick. Again, this one is a piece of wood that was in the way. We have to go over it. Could be a, a big beam, could be whatever Whatever it's going to be. Again, all sorts of different things can happen right there. So right now, our distance we have is uh, 24. That's what we uh, came up with right there. But we still have to do the same thing. We still have to do the same calculations that we had before. Same principles apply. So for a 22, you have your uh, you have to do your shrinkage and your multiplier for all these right here. So a 22 would be 2.6, uh, and the shrinkage would be uh, 3 16 For a 30, would be uh, would be a two uh, uh, would be two, and then uh, your shrinkage would be half. For a 45, would be uh, 1.4 and 3.8. Uh, this time we're gonna work with a 30 degree. We did the uh, the 22.45 last time. We're gonna be at 30 degrees for this. So now with, with the uh, four point saddle, again, whatever this is, whatever this guy is, is gonna be the same for here. It's gonna be the same for here. It's gonna be the same for here. So if we pick 30 degrees, that means this guy's 30, this guy's 30, this guy's 30. If it's 45, this guy's 45, and so on and so on. Again, that uh, logic after that 45, whatever whatever degree we choose and want, they're all exactly the same thing. So every single one is going to be the same thing. You can do that for anyone, 60, 90, whatever you're going to do. Again, we do we do have to understand that uh, that uh, after 360 degrees, again, that, that's passing what the code uh, requirement is. So we cannot go beyond that. We have to put a, a junction box to continue right there. Uh, one of the reasons why we uh, why we normally pick 30 degrees because it gives you more, uh, make, it makes it easier to pull wire. It gives you more to be able to add more bends if you need to add a, a box offsets and stuff like that for this stuff right here. Uh, it makes it a lot nicer like this. So we normally pick a 30, uh, 45, 22, whatever. But again, tw uh, 30 would be probably the most common one that we use. Plus, the math is super easy. Again, uh, 30, the multiplier is 2, and the shrinkage is quarter. So very simple. But our happened, we, we have the height that we, we, we got this time. Uh, happen to be three inches, right? That's how we uh, we ended up finding out. So three inches. So again, we're gonna do the same formula that we did before. So uh, we're gonna do uh, uh, we're gonna do uh, height times shrinkage and height times multiplier. Very simple, easy formulas that we do. So all we gotta do is fill in the blanks. So again, uh, three inches, three inches. That's what we found the height to be. And then we're gonna do a quarter uh, for this and two for that. So again. Uh, this right here is uh, pretty much three quarters. It's 75, right? Uh, uh, 0.75 or, uh, or three quarters, whatever you make it, want, want to do it like that. So three quarters, point, point 0.75 or three quarters. Same thing. Uh, now, or, and then we have our, our uh, multiply. We'll get to that right now. So, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I have my obstacles. Uh, I can draw this a little bit better. Uh, all right. Uh, so, uh, from here it was 24 so I have to add so I have to add uh, three quarters so now my my mark right here for this guy this is my mark a uh, it is now 24 and three quarters that's what I'm gonna mark it right there so I'm gonna go ahead and come over here and uh, if I had a conduit but it seems like I forgot to bring a conduit right now so uh, so, uh, so let's go so right now when we get a conduit right now we're gonna continue with that so right now we have uh, 24 and three quarters is what we have right there uh, now we have to do the next step. So uh, step A, that was uh, step A, uh, do your heights and shrinkage and you get 24 and three quarters. To get B, <clears throat> to get B, you have to, uh, 
you have to do the next step. So you have to go uh, three times uh, uh, three times two, six. Very simple. Again, that's the nice thing. That, uh, the nice thing about uh, the thirty degree bend. Very easy math. You can do a lot of this stuff in your head. I mean, most of the like I said, quarters you can add them in your head. You can uh, times two. You can add in your head. So all it, all it is, all it does is doubles it. So if my uh, uh, so uh, if my height was uh, uh, three inches, uh, now I, all I gotta do is uh, that means I have to go back here six inches. Oh, this should be a B. Uh, so six inches. So now I'm gonna deduct six inches from here. So this again becomes uh, 18 and three quarters. And uh, and how do I get my next step? Is I have to I have to do the measurement. I have to do the measurement. Thank you. I, I, I have to do the measurement of whatever the distance of this is. That's how simple the next step is. All of, whatever this is right here. So this happens to be four. I'm going to go ahead and put it uh, four right there. So I'm just going to write it in there. Uh, so uh, so from here to there was four. All right. So this guy is four inches. Uh, so I'm going to add it here. So now this becomes 28 and three quarters. And now all I got to do here, I deduct it uh, six inches. I'm going to add uh, six inches to my 28. So what it becomes, 34 and... Uh, Three quarters, right? Right. So, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in right now. So the, my, my very first one, I'm gonna go ahead and write it down. So my very first one uh, was 18 and three quarters. So here I'm gonna just write down 18 and three quarters. My next one was 24 and three quarters. So I'm gonna write it down here, 24 and three quarters. And my next one was uh, uh, 28 and three quarters. 28 and three quarters. And my last one was. Uh, 34 and three quarters. So this is a mark. Uh, so those are my marks that I'm going to be doing. Again, very important uh, that you're going to, this is my obstruction. This is where this guy, uh, my, this is actually my obstruction right here. If you guys noted, that's actually the size of my obstruction. That's where it's going to be. Now, if you notice right now, the condor sticks out quite a bit. It sticks out a little bit more than it should, but later on with the shrinkage, it's going to bring it back into location right there. So uh, again, we're doing 30 degrees. So again, I get my bender. I'm gonna, this time we we'll use the arrows. And again, you have to make sure that the front, this is the shoe, the front, this is gonna have to always be facing where these X's are. This is the obstruction. So you gotta make sure this guy's always facing. So if I have this right here, this uh, is facing that way. But if I have it here, it, uh, the X's are not in front of this. So again, that becomes an issue. That, uh, that, uh, that's why a lot of mistakes are made right here. So you gotta make sure that the X's are always right in front of the, of your shoe so here i have the x's they're right in front of the shoe i'm going to go ahead and do my first bend uh, again we're at, we are going to 30 so i'm going to go right here to my 30 uh make a bend right there to my 30 again i let it spring back uh next bend all i gotta do is push it in push it turn again you gotta make sure that you keep a nice straight uh straight so it keeps it nice and even or else you get a dog leg again here we're gonna have a couple of bends so you got to make sure that your bend is nice and uh, straight right there when you're doing this type of bend right there so it becomes very important uh make sure that i have this uh, right there and even sometimes when you when you do it takes some time uh to get it nice and straight sometimes it's still you might be off a little bit but again you can fix it so here's my second bend again this is what we, we use a lot of the times just to go and offset sometimes if you don't have to go over this and you don't want to go over something like this you have yourself an offset that you can go over stuff like that so it becomes very useful bend but this one we need to go over it so uh uh here are my uh bends i'm gonna uh, show you guys that i took it off so here my first bend my next bend right here nice and again uh, I have my other bends right here, so I got to take out my conduit. I have to make sure I take out my conduit, turn it over, and then get it right back into the uh, into my lines right here. Again, my X's are now again one more time in front of my of my uh, shoe, nice and straight. I got to make sure they keep it nice and straight. Again, now you're going to be able to see quite a bit of. Uh, you got to make sure that it, uh, it's nice and straight. That this part, this part, this all of this is nice and straight everything should look nice and even when you're doing a lot of this bend right there so it makes makes a big difference so here we go i'm going to go ahead and uh do uh my bend uh again back to 30 i'm going to go right go right to 30 again uh uh right at my 30 i'm going to go ahead and push this in one more time same almost the same thing like we did before uh right back to my arrow uh keep it nice and straight uh again that will make a difference so make sure you keep it all nice and straight uh, that way you keep your bend uh, nice and neat right there. 
So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do my bend one more time. And I use my shoulder pit uh, to put a lot of pressure. People sometimes use your hand really quick. So it depends what you like to use. I have a tendency to use my shoulder pit. It gives me uh, more leverage. All I do is bend my knees, go all the way down. I'm able to uh, get a nice bend when it comes to stuff like that. So here we go. I'm gonna go to 30. Uh, there's my 30 right there. So now I have my full offset. Uh, again, uh, might be a tiny bit of a dog leg, uh, but we're gonna check out okay. Uh, I'm not sure, I think it was this side right here. Like it should be, it should be this side right there. Uh, off by a little bit. Yeah, we off by a little bit right there for some reason. Oh no, that's why, because this thing moved. Okay, here we go. So again, this is my mark right there, so you guys will know that's why I marked it right there. So that's why it looked like it was off by a little bit, but again, uh, right there, again, uh, your bends are right in between that box right there. Your offset should be nice and neat. Again, uh, this one might need a little bit, you might want to uh, bend a tiny bit more. It's not a big deal. Again, uh, this will go okay. But again, uh, you put your strap strap and things should be okay right there. So again, uh, uh, you can bend a tiny bit more to get this fixed. Uh, then you do your offsets or whatever you want to do. But again, it's that simple. Again, uh, uh, from the edge, you go back uh, after you do your multipliers. Then you, uh, all you got to do is get that measurement, pretty much put it in here and then add uh, your uh, multiplier times your height again one more time and again you should be able to get this uh, bend pretty easily uh, again they are uh, nothing complicated very simple formulas again uh, to do high tense shrinkage high tense multiplier uh, a lot of people don't like to do the shrinkage at first uh, one of the reasons why i like to people have to practice on the shrinkage at all times is because later on when you start doing rigid you have to do those things. They, those have to be taken into account. And if you don't do it here, uh, again, later on, uh, again, uh, EMT is very forgiving. Uh, you can cut it and you can move it around and do a lot of cool stuff with it, be very easy. But with rigid, it won't let you do that. So the more you guys practice doing the trinket, and really the thing is, it's just one extra step. Very simple, easy step. I don't think it's even that hard to add that thing and it makes it pretty easy. So again, I would suggest you start practicing doing your, uh, your shrinkage. It makes it a lot simpler to do a lot of the bends and you guys should be able to go out to the races again uh, practice this you guys should be okay out there in the field these are probably some of the uh this uh three or uh, four point of the three point are probably some of the hardest ones that people have issues with when they're doing some of this stuff uh but uh, again uh uh not that hard you guys should be able to do this uh pretty easily when it comes to doing stuff like that all right i uh, think